Special thanks to Western Smokehouse for providing some amazing meats for this adventure. All right, let's get out of here. really hot it's uh, probably in the mid 80s now super duper hot going uphill in the Sun could be worse Super, next time I'm gonna cut down even more weight. Brought a couple little extras I needed. Thought I needed, I didn't need them. They're just taking too much weight. Like my parang. I really didn't need that. I don't know why I brought it. Uh, again from my friend with the big giant camera that wants to get in the backpacking. I could not fathom carrying a DSLR on a gimbal with one hand and backpacking. Cell phones, man, are the way to go for outdoor filming. I don't care who you are, listen to my word.
so hot. Oh boy. We're not getting far, man. Every time we stop, it's only like, I think I'm going a quarter mile at a time. Shit. It's hot. Oh. Ah, oh, the heat is, the heat is real. It is real. Man, it is gorgeous around here, though. What's up over here? Oh yeah, I got the water. You guys have seen this before. I should have ate breakfast, you guys. I'm so stupid. When you guys do stuff like this, don't forget to eat breakfast. I also forgot my butt wipes again. I just always forget the butt wipes. So, yay, leaves. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at this, you guys. And that looks like a place we'd see a mountain lion, doesn't it? Right up there in that little cave hole. All right, let's go have a snack. And take just a little break. There's the pack. Stuff in it. I want to thank Western Smokehouse. These are amazing. Going to be re reviewing these in a while. They sent out a bunch of meat sticks. So good. You love meat sticks. So far, this is the best brand I've ever tried. And these particular flavored ones are just amazing. Noka also sent me a bunch of these fruit drink uh, smoothie things. So we're just gonna take a break, chill out for a moment, and knock these back and, and get going again. Super nice day. Lots of bugs though, man. Mm. These are delicious. This is a sweet potato and goji. And I'm the kind of guy that would say, what? Sweet potato? I don't want none of that in my smoothie. You don't even hardly taste it. It just makes it taste even better. It's got banana and apple and lemon and cinnamon. Tastes like something you get out of a real uh, smoothie bar.
so we're going to do a documentary. I've been working on some awesome content for the channel. And, oh, that's a big bite right there in my head. I've been getting really into researching the missing 411. And I've also been kind of researching Bigfoot. Now, not really a big, huge Bigfoot guy. I'm kind of skeptical. But apparently this area that I'm in is one of the best areas in the United States to look for them. Really close to uh, areas that have been getting sightings since like the early 1900s. Um, some people might know of the Lake Chapaca Bigfoot sighting. Well, that's really close to here. Oh, I got a huge bite right here. That sucks. Um, so I'm one of the guys that definitely thinks something's up. I don't believe everybody could be lying. I think it would be more interesting to find out that everybody's making all this shit up than to actually find out that there is a creature that we have not identified living out in the woods. I swear to God, it would be more fascinating to find out that 100% of these people are, are lying. Because if that was true, do you know what else would be all tr uh, true? Everybody that's uh, talking about ghosts, UFOs, Loch Ness, everything. Hell, it, it blows my mind that people can believe in Jesus, but they don't believe in Bigfoot. To me, there's more evidence for a Bigfoot than there is actually a Jesus. So, I'm going to be doing a big, uh, documentary on that and the 411. I'm going to try to the best quality I can do, make it feel like a real uh, publication. So today, while we're out and about, we're going to do some Bigfoot stuff just for fun. Um, one of the things they respond to is tree knocking. You take a, uh, a stick and you knock it on the tree, you whack, whack, and you just listen. And you'll do that, and supposedly, that's how maybe these things kind of, kind of communicate. Which that kind of makes sense. If there was some kind of creature out here that maybe didn't have speech, knocking on trees, I could see that being a thing. And the other thing we'll be doing is whooping. Because apparently these things whoop. So here's my big foot whoop. Whoop! 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 That's my whoop. Mmm. Smoky sweet. So good. Thank you, Westerns. You guys are awesome. Rick and Dan. Um, the other thing was the missing 411. I had a friend of the channel, Jolly Joel. What's up, Joel? Um, he was telling me it's, a, you know, it's just people out there that are going to commit suicide. Actually, that couldn't be farther from the truth, and then let me tell you why. We already have forests in the world where people go to commit suicide. There's one over in Japan, Suicide Forest, very famous. That asshole Logan Paul recently went up there. And the thing is, is when people go in there, they leave a trace. They leave their cars behind, they leave, uh, you know, you can see where their camp was. It's not mysterious. It's very cut and dry. We know they went in and, and killed themselves. There are no missing cases or weird cases about that place. People go in there, they die. Now also, when people go to commit suicide in the forest, eventually their stuff is found. Or let's say they're walking down uh, a steep ravine and they fall to their deaths and they die. Eventually, that stuff will be found. It'll either get washed down to the bottom of the ravine, down into a lake. It, it just That's how it works. So the suicide thing, no, it actually really does not work because we have uh, evidence now of what a forest looks like where people go to commit suicide. They don't go very far and none of the cases are weird. The, oh, a mosquito just landed right on the lens. Get out of there! Uh, one of the weird things about the missing 411 cases is most of them take place in national parks. Most of them seem to happen in the same areas. Most of them seem to happen to kids. And the cases are weird stuff. Like, the body will be found, not the body, the clothes will be found down here somewhere, and then the body, yeah, body or clothes, reverse it any way you want. 
will be found, let's say, 4,000 feet up a mountain. But the thing is, is they had searched the site before, and a lot of times these bodies will just show up where they've been a million times. Uh, they'll show up places where people will even come back from the local area because of the local kid that got lost, and they'll look for him, and it becomes kind of like a legend. And then all of a sudden, two, three years later, they find the kid at ground zero where everybody had looked where everybody had looked. So there's some really weird cases. I highly recommend anybody that thinks I'm full of shit, listen to the Missing 411 podcasts. There's podcasts, there's radio shows, but there's also a documentary. There's this dude, David, that found all this stuff out. Now, these are all facts. This is all facts. This isn't like, oh, we're wondering about this, we're wondering about that. No. Uh, there's a handful of these cases that are just literally unexplainable and have some weird, weird stuff that goes along with them. Even um, Survivor Man, Les, Les Straub, he says, it, well, his, his final say on what this is, is it's something unknown, and we have not discovered it yet. There is some type of unknown force in the woods that we don't know. The weird part is a lot of the Bigfoot stuff ties into the missing 411. A lot of it sounds very, very similar. So that's kind of odd. I'll be talking to you guys more today about the, the missing 411. Now, the Survivor Man, he's recently gotten into looking for Bigfoot, so he's got an agenda. He wants to find something unknown out here. He wants to promote his shows and stuff like that, so who knows who to believe? And a lot of those Bigfoot guys, they'll hear something and they'll just make shit up and, oh, that's a Bigfoot, of course. And heard something in the woods, so it must be a Bigfoot. I believe, but we're not going to pull that shit those guys do. Here's this one Bigfoot documentary. Came out a little while back. You can probably find it. I'm not going to say who it was, but the guy's out there by himself, driving up in his, his car, camping. So I thought it would be cool to be able to actually go real backpacking. Let's go, to, let's go into the deep woods, the deep woods. And so he's out there and he's making these whoops and stuff and of course he hears voices and then he hears something else and of course it's a Bigfoot, right? Um, and then, you know, the expeditions continue, the documentaries that he's making continue. They're not really documentaries. It's really just him going out into the woods and looking for Bigfoot and saying it's a documentary. I, I was amazed. I was like, wow, that's, that's what I'm doing already. So we'll make it more fun and it'll be, it'll be entertaining. We're going to go out at night tonight and use the flashlights and scare the shit out of ourselves, but what we're not going to do is we're not going to make anything up. I'm not going to be fabricating anything here. I'm not going to be staging nothing. Um, guns, a lot of people say, oh, you're going to go out and look for Bigfoot? You need a gun. You need guns. Bullshit. If this creature is as intelligent as we think it may be, it knows what a gun is. And I believe the people that go into the woods fully armed are going to have problems. The flip side of this coin is, let's say you take Bigfoot and the missing 411. Something out in the woods that we don't know, right? It has a 100% success rate, whatever it is. So these people that are going missing, there is no stories of people being approached by a creature and then shooting at it and you know having it go away. There's some of those uh, over time to time with the Bigfoot thing, but I believe those are the bullshit ones. Because those are the ones that are the least majority. Those are the ones that just never really make much sense to me. The guy that shot at it and, you know, they're drinking blood out of deer or something. And, you know, just all that uh, staged bullshit. So I believe these creatures would know what a weapon is. And I believe these creatures would probably not reveal themselves in any way to somebody that has a, a gun or a hunter. Um, so that's my theory. I'm... I purposely don't want to be armed. I purposely don't want to be walking through the woods with a shotgun because if that thing does exist, I'm, I really believe it's smart enough to know. It's probably seen hunters. It's probably seen people shooting things. And I, I, I just, I think the guns are probably the bad idea. And they might even inspire more violent encounters. I did notice when I was reading the reports, uh, rocks getting thrown at the camp was a really big one. And there was even some like, news channels that went out with some, some guys and stuff and some of these documentaries I saw and had rocks thrown at them. Really weird stuff. You know, it could be BS. But they had guns. 
they were also firing the guns into the woods as well. And I, I don't know. I think that might not be the best idea. That being said, like I said, nobody's coming out of the woods saying, glad I had this 45 because it saved my life from the big scary monster. Whatever this thing is, if it wants you, it gets you. Just got some snacks in me, feeling good. We're gonna have a drink of water, we'll get back on the, on the road and see if we can't find an awesome place to hang out and explore the woods and go look for some Bigfoots and maybe do some foraging. Oh, I'm dead. I'm done. Like, just totally done. It's time to have a biggin. Thanks again to Westerns Smokehouse. Have one of these biggins. And I'm gonna have a nice butt ice. Tall boy. Uh, we found this great, just really cute spot. When I say we, I mean you guys and me. Um, this is really cool out here. Got this just beautiful area. And there's water. We can drink as much water as we want tonight. I was tempted to have two beers tonight and not have a beer right now, but I, I need it. I need it in me. So we got some great water source. Even gonna come back here a little bit and take a dip. Nice little dip, get my clothes a little drier. It is just heinous and I'm nasty. Look at that clear water. So that's cool. We had to like jump over this to get in. Got my right foot kind of soaked, so. Let's go up here. I'm still looking for a good spot to put the hammock. Um, when I say looking, I mean I, I haven't even begun looking. But I just want to sit down and eat and drink. Uh, big, big, big mistake not eating before I left today. Huge mistake. Uh, up here is where the deer will go to hide. There is a cattle fence here, kind of separating the property. This whole mountain's kind of uh, kind of a place where they let them graze and stuff. Oh, by the way, sunflowers, best butt wipes ever. This is cool. What's up here? I also forgot to do the lace lock on my shoe and the back of my foot's kind of pissed, so got that done. Yeah, I think we'll go back down a little bit. Down there, that's our spot for the day. I'm calling it, I'm done. I brought some stupid shit like the Parang. And, you know, just kind of forgot about the, the weight. I actually think this is mostly because I haven't ate. I'm just got, I've got that weak in the knees, kind of just hungry feeling. Western Smokehouse does it right. Mm. What really sucks is I stepped in my own shit. Um, they're gonna poop. I pooped. Um, didn't get a chance to cover it up because I was still pulling up my pants. Then a termite flew over in my underwear. And I was like, get out of here, termite. And then the second the termite left, a big giant wasp shows up. And he's like circling around my privates. I'm like, this sucks. And I take a step back and it, oh, you know, that feeling you just know you stepped in shit. So that sucked. I can hear it falling down over there, kind of like a little waterfall creek. Sounds like there's a river over there. There's a huge waterfall over there. I want to kind of, you know what? Hopefully we don't get our ass falling down some hill looking for it, but I'd like to go take a peek at it. There's no trail that goes up to it. There's just a huge, enormous waterfall. And it's like, you gotta go through the bushes and stuff, but it looks to be like over 10, 15 feet tall. It'd be cool to find out how to get down there. I'm 
All right, we're just gonna go take a little bit of a walk and beer in hand. We're gonna walk up the trail because I know up there there's a spot where it kind of goes off to the side and there's like stuff. I'm so out of it, I can't even speak. Um, I think there's a better spot up here, but I'm not sure. So kind of stash the bag. Got the bear spray and the stabbing knife. We'll just walk up and see. Oh, there's no, there's no way I could have gone any farther. I'm so tired. Now my body kind of just got in shock because it doesn't, doesn't have the nutrients it needs because I'm a moron. Thought it'd be a good idea to go backpacking on an empty stomach. Dumbass. I mentioned this gimbal's amazing. It's amazing. So, where I wanted to look was just right up here off to the left. I actually hope it sucks because I just am so tired. This sucks, not what I was anticipating, but then again, I also expended a ton of energy taking that damn dog down, back down the mountain. See, right now, this is how the trail is mostly till you get to the top, and that's no problem, but the beginning part of it's like a 45 degree angle, so it's it sucks. Yeah, I got the cold chills now. Yeah, body's like not happy. That's somewhere down in there. It connects to, I just wanna see it from the top before I go down. Ah, oh, shit, okay. There's a game trail. I guess we'll just follow it. See, these deer, they know the good spots. Oftentimes these game trails lead to cool places. I highly recommend following them. I wonder what all these are. A ton of these beautiful yellow things everywhere. Wow, I just want to... I actually just want to go to bed. I've never... I'm so tired. A lot of huckleberry bushes in here so we know where to go. For sure, it's amazing huckleberries. These are oh, these are all huckleberries. Okay, this might have been worth it.
Oh, for real, this this is a huckleberry spot. We'll be able to camp up here and pack them up and everything. Oh, I kind of want to come up here, you guys. Look at this. There's a sweet seat. Right there. Down there. Yeah, right there. And we got some meadows and stuff we could explore and look for morals, morels. <sighs> Wish I felt better. Water isn't close like it was at the other place though. Guys, I'm so tired. I don't want to move anymore. Gosh, what a mistake that was not eating. Strange. I don't know if you can see it. There's a, a wire up there. Huh. There's, there's a wire hanging down, just randomly. Why would you do that? This must be some kind of trap. Goes up into that tree. Maybe somebody can tell me what the purpose of that would be. Well, I've just been laying here on my thermal pad. These things are great. Like, you can pick up enough of rolls of this stuff for like 20 bucks to make a bunch of stuff. Man, I'm so tired my mouth don't work. Did you, None of that made any sense. None of that made any sense. Uh, so far, this battery on this Note 8 is amazing. I've recorded for dang near 50 minutes, and I'm at 88% on my battery. That's with using Bluetooth. Like, wow. These guys. Oh, that's delicacies. Look at them. Beautiful. I don't know what those are. We'll learn eventually. Here's a spot I'm gonna come back and get some some wood from, but I wanted to see if we could get down to this waterfall. Over to our left, there's a, you can hear it. There's a waterfall down there. Sure wish the camera was a little bit better about auto-focusing. That's my only complaint on the cell phone thing. Ooh, nice little log there. I'm too bad I don't have anything to saw with. I didn't take my saw because I, I thought my, my prang was so much more manly. But now I kind of regret not taking the saw. Uh, can't take everything, right? Let's see, can we get down there? Ugh. That looks sketchy. I don't think so. They did a lot of work through here. I want to see about becoming part of their team. Come up here and at least give back a little bit building on these. They have some trail parties and stuff every now and then. So they made a channel here. To get some of the water through here. It's all man-made right there. Let's see if we can get down here. Uh, whoa. Man, this gimbal makes everything so awesome. Okay. Looks like it's off to our left. 
Uh, how do we get down there? Someday, I think I want to come through here and see there's somewhere down there. It's like a it's like 10 to 15 feet tall at least Could probably get down There somewhere Man, that's a sketch and then go along down that way because there's kind of like a little valley down there. I Want to see this waterfall? Um, I haven't talked to anybody in town that's seen it. They all know it exists because they hear it, but nobody's... Oh, maybe we can get down there? Is this it? No, it's not it, but it's part of it. Ow! Oh, whoa! Oh, that'd be a sweet spot to put the hammock. Connect it right there. And then to like that tree right there. And you'd be hanging right there. Heck yeah. I don't know how I'd get down there though. This is about, I don't know, it's about a five foot drop right there. Shoot. This does not look like the spot. That's also not it either. There's a bigger waterfall. Oh shit. Yeah, so it looks like we maybe have to come down this way. Oh, that's... Oh, that's doable. Oh, that's creepy. What's down there? Maybe save this for another day, I don't know. Shoot. Man, I wanna go so bad, but I'm just so tired. It looks like I can get down there around and... Hmm. Still a lot of sun left. I don't see any poison ivy there. That's about 10 feet down right there. Hmm. I think that's the best way it's through in there. Uh, I had a grappling hook. I don't think we're gonna be able to make it today. Man, why am I being a weenie? We can make it today. Wait, right there. We gotta go back up and over. I think that's, that's where it's at. Okay, looks like another spot. I just really want to go down there and see that. What if it was like a big, huge waterfall and like an awesome spot you could camp? Oh, that would be amazing. Okay, so it's over here. Oh, it's right there. Oh man, this is so sketchy. Man, you guys, it looks like we could go down that way and it's the kind of thing that I just want to do earlier in the day with more energy. Fuck it.
shit. Oh. Oh. Ugh. There you go, That's, you see how steep it is. That's what we just basically climbed down. See? Come up there. Okay, we can make it though. We can easily get back up. I'm just trying to go slow. If anything happens to me, no one's gonna find me down here. Dude, <laughs> I think we're gonna see something amazing, you guys. I think we're gonna see something amazing that probably very few people in this area have seen. A little spring. Ow, ow, damn. Did not expect to make it this far. Uh. What is this? Whoa. This is crazy. Oh, I hear it, you guys. I think we might get there. I think we're gonna go. These holes are creeping me out. What could be in there? I hear it. We're almost level with it, you guys. Whoa, shit. Guys, it's right down there. It's somewhere in here. This is great. We did it. See? See? We can do things. Gotta learn not to doubt ourselves. We're gonna make it. It's just right over there. It's just right over there. Holy shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ugh. This is it. We did it, we did it, we did it. It's off to the left, you guys. It's off to the left. It's off to the left. Oh my God! Wait till you see it. Here comes the grand reveal. Fuck! Boom! <laughs> yeah! Look what we found, you guys. Most people never see this here, ever. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> wow. That's amazing. This is what you get when you explore a little bit off the beaten path. 
It looks like we can even go down a little bit lower, but I don't know why we would. Well, uh, see in there. It's like there's you could take a path through there, but well. Am I getting eight? No, I'm not getting eight. Let's go see if we can get a little closer. Oh man. Oh, this is so wonderful. Wow. That is so cool. Oh yeah, that was worth it. That's a big one. That's way more than 10 or 15 feet. Uh, that's three stories. Pretty awesome, you guys. Man, I'm proud of myself. This is cool in here. It's all kinds of places to hang out. But it just keeps going down and down and down and down. We did it, you guys. That is fantastic. Fantastic. Well, let's get back up the hill. And go get a little bit more firewood. We did it, man. We did it. Now, when you're out exploring, watch under there. That's where the, the snakes sit. Ow, ow, ow. I'll just scrape my knee.
It'd be crazy if we saw something down here. Something amazing. Whoop! 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 Oh, how do we get back up this? Right side. Nothing better than a nice stick rubbing on a sunburn. I know all you outdoorsmen and outdoor ladies out there know what I'm saying. That sucks. I would definitely say oh, tempted to bring my tent and stuff over here, but we'll rock our spot tonight. And we'll come down here another time. That would be a that'd be a sweet place to camp out up there. Looks like more of a tent spot though. Oh, how do we get in here? Oh, we went down there. Whoa, shit. The, is that miner's lettuce? No, that's not miner's lettuce. I wonder what these are. Look at these, you guys. They're really pretty. They're like these little bells. Sunburn! Owie! 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 Good lord, we... We, <laughs> we really came down a, a nice little stint there, didn't we? For any of you guys that don't know how to identify poison ivy, just remember leaves of three, let it be. I haven't seen any yet. I've been looking. It's out here. Oh man. Come on. Something bit me in the ear now. Oh, bastards. Oh, the mosquitoes this year are humongous. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun right there. Look at that. Nice and nothing to walk on. Holding a gimbal. Oh, this trusty bush. Better hold me. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, right over an open flesh wound. Ow. Okay, there we go. Come on, uh, we got it. <sighs> Woo! We did it. Holy shit. Now I'm tired.
I don't know. I'm so lethargic, you guys. I've had four meat sticks. You know what it is? Oh, uh, all I've been eating today is meat sticks. I, I ain't got no carbs in me. I need carbs.
All right, things are looking up. Got the fire going. Gonna have some backpackers pantry three cheese mac and cheese. Got the old bush ice out and a flashlight charging up there. My little Trekology seat. Really like this. The small one, I took the big one, but it was too big, so I put it back in my bag and took the little one. Perfect. Super lightweight. Got a killer fire right next to the, the stream here. Back over here in the smoke. They're all over. They're making this really, really not fun. Well, I mean, it's still fun, but... Man, if they could just go away for a moment, that'd be really nice. I had to put my bandana on so they'd stop, like, getting on my head. Well, I'm just going to let this record. We're just going to kind of hang out here. Uh, I'll try to move the camera around so you can get some different angles and stuff like that, but... Right now, it's just these stupid mosquitoes, man. Actually, you know what? I'm getting my bug jacket. Fuck it. And maybe Bud Ice will send me some uh, free, free drinks if I let them know that I was propping their beer. All right, let's get this bad boy on. I'm ready. Get on me. Oh. Yes. Yes. Now they can go up in my hands. That's fine. I can see them. Can they do that? That's fine. That's fine. The view sucks now. Hey, can I still drink my beer? Guess so. <laughs> I'm itching so bad. They got all over my back when I got in that tree right there. I literally felt like five of them bite me at the same time. It felt like needles just everywhere. Uh, well, it might be a short fire tonight. We might be sitting in the tent listening to Lord of the Rings. All right, so far so good. So I'm just going to hang out here. Um, since I'm not really saying much and nothing's going on, I'm not going to just keep recording. I think there's enough of that recorded. If some strange person out there does like just sitting me, watching me sit here and say nothing for hours, let me know. And I'll totally make it so you can do that. So, um... I'm just going to wait for it to get a little bit dark, and I think the fire and the ambiance might change a little bit. So uh, I'm just going to hang out here and tend to that, and uh, I'll, I'll catch you just in a little bit. Or I won't, because I might be missing. Using some uh, free heat here to boil my water. Got a little bit more water than I needed, and I'm going to boil that. And then when I'm ready to cook, I'll boil it again real fast. Cook food for me!
Let's get that mountain house now. All right, we got a boil going on, so let's go ahead and get the food and see what it's like. Well, I had to retreat to my tent. The mosquitoes are everywhere. If you can see them flying around there, it totally sucks. And I had to put out the fire, grab my food, which I haven't ate yet, and Jen just escaped to my tent. Hammock, should I say? And I'm just super happy that the bug net is in here because these things are just all over the place. My fault for parking right next to the water. Look at this. Sucks. They're everywhere. Well, I'm all tucked away for the night um, in my outdoorsman lab sleeping bag, mummy bag. And so far so good. I don't have anything under me, so I want to see what it's like with absolutely nothing under me. No insulation or anything like that. Uh, this thing actually, the build quality on it, man, I don't know. Like, look at this. The little velcro thing when I pulled it apart it literally just ripped apart so yeah it's cheap and the build quality kind of sucks but it's a $32 bag what are you gonna do so not the night I was anticipating we're going to bed and it's totally light out so we're just gonna try to zoos off to sleep here I've got this nice pillow from uh, Outsmart that I'm using. I really like these blow up pillows. Oh, comfy. And you can let out the air so you don't put so much air in it and it makes it really smooth. Well, I'm going to try to go to sleep. I ate some terrible dinner. Backpacker's Pantry sucks. I don't recommend Backpacker's Pantry at all. It is not good. Um, it's crappy, crappy food, and you'd be better getting, like, Nor for way cheaper, so. Screw that. Yeah, not the trip that I expected, but, oh well. I'm kind of somewhere where I've been like a million times, and I just, um, I don't know. I mean, it's exciting, but it's not like super crazy. The fun will be when we get to like the, the places we've never been, a little bit higher up. So, I'm not tired, which sucks. I had a bunch of that Backpackers Pantry garbage. And I just thought I was going to be staying up longer, but the mosquitoes are freaking everywhere. There's no way. Stupid of me to camp by the, um, the water. So, really enjoying laying in this thing, though. It is comfy. It is super comfy. So, I guess this is me signing off. Not the most exciting trip, but I'll try to get uh, some better ones in the future. We were going to do this whole Bigfoot thing on this trip, but no way, man. I can't even get out of the, the, the tent. There's just shit everywhere, man. There's, there's at least 15 mosquitoes within my sight at this very moment. That's how bad it is. So, Anywho, I'm going to report back to you guys tomorrow morning. And I'm going to actually try to go to sleep. We'll see what happens. Well, it is... It's 3.30. And I'm in my... North Face. 
I have also my Pantagonia sweater inside the sleeping bag. Pants on. Um, it's cold. It's, not a, it's a little colder than I expected. Uh, anybody that wants to take a hammock under 60 degrees, you better have your shit right. Uh, or a lot of clothes. Make sure you get that under quilt, Ollie. You'll be freezing your ass off up there. Um, got a friend getting a hammock. I'm not, oh, I'm not sleepy because I'm uncomfortable. Um, ever since my accident, I have a problem laying straight. And I'm laying, like, really straight. There's no support whatsoever on my back. And I'm just like, ah! Which most people would be in this going, oh, this is wonderful. But my butt, like, dipping down and my legs kind of, like, dipping up. Like I'm bending. Oh, it's not comfy. Not what I, it's not what I was expecting on, to be like, oh, super uncomfortable. I'm also using the Mylar. That made a big difference. This, very big difference. But still was not perfect. I needed to wake up and then go and put my clothes on. Uh, very cold. Uh, I don't like the mummy bag at all in a hammock. It sucks. I get why people just have a quilt. It's just a huge pain in the ass getting inside of this thing I'd just rather have a quilt so lots to change lots to work on glad we're only doing this one night this this is very uncomfy so it's 3 30 I'm gonna try to get another couple hours of sleep and get up at like five or six and just start burning fire because oh, I'm just so uncomfortable about four o'clock and the birds just started tweeting and I just can't take this anymore I'm not sleeping I'm not tired I'm just staring up my back needs to straighten out in a different way like there's just no support in this hammock I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do hammocks this sucks we'll see really like this though I mean I like I, mean, I really do like it I just want to be more comfortable my back is killing me so I'm gonna get up and put on the fire and just mosey up this sucks all right got a nice toasty fire going right now Alright, sorry if you can't see me very well. Right now, my main concern is just getting warm. I got some colored flames. Real nice lady sent me these. And you just put them in the fire. Like that. Man, this sucked. <laughs> uh, not what I was expecting. I, I, ever since my accident, I can't straighten out. Like if I lay on the floor, it, I just need support now. And the hammock did not provide any support at all. It's very uncomfortable for me. Um, I think I would actually, in fact, maybe possibly even go back to a tent. But... It wasn't the hammock's fault at all. I really, really, really want that to work. So I'm going to try some different configurations. But it's just that bend. It's like, I don't know if you can see my hand. But it, I don't, it's not even flat. It's like your legs are raised up a little bit higher than you are. And I hate that. So, you know, I don't know. 
if I end up do going back to the tent, uh, pardon my, my English right now, uh, that thing would weigh half as much, so I'd go back to like 2 pounds, 11 ounces, well almost half as much. Uh, I got a really lightweight tent, that Spitfire, amazing tent. So, I could see doing that and then just taking my normal hammock with me to relax in. It just, uh, I don't know what's going to happen, man. I'm going to try. I really want to support this hammock and support Wes over at Lawson Hammocks. Sticking up for the little guy like me. Sent me two of those things, man. So, I really want it to work. There's no way in hell my mom could get in there, though. Like, uh, people said that there was, like, stability issues on it. And, yeah, there's for sure stability issues on it. Um, I had it set up 100% right. Nothing was twisted whatsoever. But if you just go too far to one side, you literally could just flip over. And I did read about a, a guy's wife doing exactly that. So, I don't think my mom's going to be able to use it, and that was, that kind of sucks, that was a plan. She can't really get off of the ground, so. Wah, wah, wah. Look at these flames, guys. So cool. Um, trying to think of what else changes I would make. I would pay attention more before I go and leave to what I've got to eat, my current state. But oh, my back is just so happy to get out of that thing right now. Ah, uh, yeah. At least it's not hard to set up and stuff like that and take down. So that's cool. This morning's caffeine choice is going to be caffeine gummies from Punched Energy. It's 4.52 and the mosquitoes are already acting up. So I'm going to uh, pack up and go ahead and get out of here. It's just, man, um, dum, 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 dum. See that spot right there by the water? Yeah, that was stupid. That was stupid. So, um, let's go home. Okay, they are everywhere. Don't know if you can see it. Mosquitoes rude the day. Sorry, I'm not using my gimbal right now. I have everything packed up. I just needed to get out of here. It got savage. I was going to sit here for another two hours and just enjoy the fire and birds and and nope, the mosquitoes were like, no, that's not going to happen. We're getting up right at 5 a.m. We're going to ruin. We're going to rue the day. And they did. They rued the day. So, man, uh, this trip has just been really kind of like experimental. Uh, I've learned a lot when I get home. I, I, I pretty much believe I've got like my fine, ow! Got me through my clothes. God damn, these things. Ow, it's getting my ear. So, 
this but this this thing on my face definitely is worth it. It definitely 150 percent is worth it. Uh, yeah, don't go into the woods without a bug net ever. In fact, I'm going to be getting one for my legs as well, so I can wear shorts. Uh, definitely investing in the highest quality bug net I can find. Uh, right now, I've got a Coleman one on, which is kind of the fabric on it. It's it could tear relatively easy. It's still really cheap, but uh, still, it could tear real easy. So, I definitely would recommend purchasing something that's of high quality. Reminds me of Faramir. Of the highest quality. Um, so yeah, do that. And don't be a chump like me. Don't go over your food a second time. Uh, and take more insulation than you think. Man, it does. It got cold last night. I'm not sure how cold. Not what a lot of people would consider cold. But for the gear that I had, it, it sucked. So anyways, I'm going to get down to the hill. That concludes pretty much this adventure. I might say a little bit more after this, but... Kind of a... Shitty trip. But, till next time. We definitely, time. definitely caught... Beautiful sunset. Not using my gimbal right now because I'm just trying to get out of here. The stupid heinous bugs. Or sunrise, sunrise. Ah, get off me. This day just keeps getting better and better. I don't like leaving the car here for people to break into overnight. And uh, got out way earlier than I expected, so I've just been sitting around. And now I got the guys that are fumigating the orchard that I'm sitting right next to. Ah. <sighs> I'm trying to stay in high spirits. Really trying hard. Hey, check out my back. I got ate up by mosquitoes and bugs. And while you're at it, check out some of these cool videos. Go ahead, click on some of these cool videos. You might find something you like. Go ahead and mosey on and click on one of these awesome videos.